welcome to the Pip and Pin podcast tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do the cable cast on. Um, this cast on is great for pretty much everything. It's a very easy cast on. Um, it uses a lot of the knitting basics that you um, will learn when you knit and um, it's nice and stretchy, very versatile, um, which is why it's one of the first cast ons that I like to teach. So what we always start off with first is our slip knot. You can either do the pretzel or just the regular slip knot way. Um, you can find a tutorial for that uh, on our YouTube channel here. So with that first slip knot, you want to keep it on your needle here. So you hold the needle with your slip knot in your left hand. And then you're going to take your right hand needle and you're going to put it through from front to back. So from front to back. You're going to use your, with your working yarn, you're going to draw your yarn around the right needle. So what you're going to do is go to go below and then in between your stitches, just like that. And you don't want to pull it tight because then it will make things harder later, but you do want to just pull it so that it reaches the loop there. Then you're going to pull your yarn through to form a new stitch on your right needle. So you're going to pull your right needle back, catch that strand, and you've just formed a new loop on your right hand needle there. And you're going to transfer that stitch onto the left hand needle. So you're just going to slide it just like that. Now that's just for the first stitch. For the second one, what you're going to do is instead of going from front to back through the stitch, you're going to go right into the space before the stitch. So you're going to go through here and if you turn it over you'll be able to see your two strands there. When you cast on your first stitch you only have the one because you're going through the stitch. Here you're going right before. So you'll have those two strands underneath. Again, we're going to take our working yarn, go under and around, and just pull it not tight, but just so that it's right there. And then we're going to pull it through onto our right needle. And we're going to transfer that stitch onto our left needle. One more time, we go take our needle, go right before your last stitch, so you have the two strands there. Take your working yarn, wrap it around, and pull it through. Put that stitch on here. So I've cast on just a couple more here. You'll see this creates a nice, tidy, kind of twisted edge. It's nice and stretchy, and it'll be easy to start working your knit stitches into these loops. Um, when you're counting your cast on stitches, make sure this one can be a little bit caught up to this stitch. So make sure you count this as two separate stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the slip knot that you did at the very first stitch does count as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've cast on eight stitches. Thank you so much for watching the Cable Cast On tutorial. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more knitting tutorials.